Hello everyone. So welcome to this new session. So in our previous sessions we have solved all the problems related to the block diagram reduction. We have solved many kind of problems. So now we are going to start uh, get to the new concept of this module. So this is the last concept that is the signal flow graph. Okay. So using these signal flow graphs we are going to reduce some of the networks. Okay. So what is basically this signal flow graph? So let's uh, uh, get to this uh, quickly. So the signal flow graph means the definition of terms required here is node. These signal flow graphs are basically represented through nodes. Okay. So in block diagrams, what we used to do, we we, we were having the blocks uh, G1, G2, G3 up to Gn. We had summing points. We had takeoff points. So here in this case, we are going to represent all those uh, summing points, takeoff points, blocks, and all in terms of nodes. Okay, and so on. it's uh, the problem. Uh, the problem solving is similar to that of block diagram reduction, but there are few of the terms which you need to know during solving these kind of problems. Okay, the, the first thing is node. That is, it is a point representing a variable. So here we can see that this is a signal flow here. The score, simple signal flow you can see here. X1, X2, X3 are nodes, and this T12 and T32 are the directions. And uh, next thing you need to know is about branch. Okay. Branch is a line joining two nodes. As you can see that we have two nodes X1 and X2 and if we join that it, it would become a branch. So the next uh, uh, term we, which you need to know is a input node. A node which has only outgoing branches X1 is the input node above. Okay, The node which has only outgoing branches. So input node means it would be uh, uh, branches would be always outgoing. Okay, Those are called as input nodes. You can see that this is an input node here X1. You can see that these branches are outgoing and output node or sync node these are only the incoming branches okay so here in this case x3 is the output node so the next concept is mixed nodes it has both incoming and outgoing branches and the next concept here is transmittance transmittance means it is the gain between two nodes and it is generally written on, on the branch near the arrow so here you can see that uh, this is a uh, general signal flow and uh, transmittance is uh, taking uh, between the two nodes. So the next thing you need to know is path. Okay, It is the traversal of uh, connected branches in the direction of branch arrow such that no node is traversed more than once. Okay, So this is all about path. So this is the basic definition. So while solving the problem I will be telling you more about this. The next concept is forward path. A path which originates from input node and terminates at output node and along which no node is traversed more than once is called as a forward path. So for example you can see here, in this above figure only you can see, a forward path means you, you see this direction of all the transmittances here, here this, this, this is a forward path where no direction is changing. Here you can see that it, it is going in a same uh, one direction here. So this can be your forward path here. Okay which has no other it originates from input and terminates at output and uh, along which no node is traversed more than once so if you see here uh, this is a forward path here one two three and you uh, if you want you can go uh, here like this also but that's not a forward path because we have already know that uh, when we are uh, when we went through this path we have already passed this node right so we, uh, this cannot be a forward path okay only these three arrows here are a forward path so that's basically about forward path so the next thing is about forward path gain it is a product of branch transmittances of a forward path so for example branch transmittances so let's uh, consider this signal flow graph here so here we have two forward paths that is from input to output let us see how many forward paths are there the, this is one forward path and it is the product of branch uh, transmittances of a forward path so what and all are the branch uh, uh, transmittances here g1 g2 g3 and g4 so product of branch uh, transmittances is a forward path so g1 into g2 into g3 into g4 is the first forward path and this is the second forward path here you can see uh, this 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 and this from input it is going to output here also from input it is going to output and the uh, branch term uh, transmittances here in this case are g5 g6 g7 g8 we need to multiply this and this would be your second forward path so that's all about forward path gain 
so the next concept here is again we need to know its loop path that originates and terminates at the same node along which no other node is traversed more than once okay so basically you know what is a loop right it means that so uh, let us uh, see this only uh, diagram here so here you can see that here we have one loop here that is g6 h6 okay these are the two transmittances here you can see that it starts from one node and terminates at the same node itself and again see this is a single loop where the direction is in the uh, forward direction the direction is not changing here okay so uh, that's called a loop and we have a, one more concept called a self loop path that originates and terminates at the same node which which and it do not passes in any other branch for example see here we have a single node here and here we have a self loop from uh, that same node itself one loop is passing so that's called a self loop okay loop gain again it is the product of a branch transmittances of a loop so that is here you can see that in this figure here we have one loop that is g2 into h2 and that's called a loop gain okay yeah so one more concept is non touching loops okay loops that don't have any common node or branch are known as non touching loops okay so for example you can say that uh, uh, if one loop has a uh, uh, doesn't have any common node or branch for example if you consider these two loops here l1 as well as uh, l2 so these two have separate nodes for them but they, they don't have any common nodes uh, between those two loops okay so those two loops here are non touch okay so you will be getting an idea about this while solving the problems so these were all the basic definitions required so we have one more uh, important formula uh, in in order to solve these uh, signal flow graphs so i'm i'm going to tell you that now that is mason's gain formula okay so now what is this mason's gain formula the formula says that uh, the a technique to reduce the signal flow graph to a signal uh, single transfer functions requires the application of this formula that is the transfer function c of s by r of s of a system is represented by a signal flow graph is given as g of s is equal to c of s by r of s as that you know that and this is represented as summation of uh, summation of k tending to 0 or uh, k tending to 0 or infinity you can say p k p of k into delta k divided by delta okay so this is the formula you need to remember very very important formula while solving the problems so i am going to tell you the terms now what are, what it represents so here k represents the number of forward path in the problem and p of k represents the kth forward path gain and delta represents the uh, the uh, represent one minus summation of loop gains that is how much how many loops we have got in that problem we need to sum it up okay plus summation of non touching loop gates in that particular problem we need to see that how many loops are non touching so non touching loop gains taken two at a time okay we need to take two at a time non touching two non touching loops at a time we should we, need, we should see that how many uh, non touching loops are there by taking two at a time first and after that minus summation of non touching loop gates taken three at a time okay after that we need to consider three at a time and let and we need to say uh, see how many non touching loops are there plus so on okay so this pattern goes like this one minus then plus minus plus and so on so maximum we would be we could take only three non touching loop gates okay four is not uh, possible so this is all about delta and here we have delta k now what is delta k delta k is one minus loop gain which does not touch the forward path okay we need to consider that loop gain which do not touch the forward path so if we, if we have a more than one forward path there are chances that uh, the loop gain uh, which do not touch the forward path will appear if we have only uh, one or two forward paths in the problem then uh, most of the uh, cases the value of delta k would be equal to one since we would we would not be having any uh, since uh, in one path they would be having many loops okay so yeah so these were all about the concepts here so in the next session i am going to solve problems related to this okay so signal flow graph this concept is very very important and very very interesting okay so we are going to start with one basic problem in the next session then we are going to increase the level as usual okay
that's all please like share subscribe and uh, be regular to this channel we would be uh, uh, re regularly uploading the videos and uh, refer our playlist for our previous sessions also of uh, control systems if you want thank you